Hey, Boyd Martin here over at uh, Camping World with all these RVs. Uh, looking around, shopping a little bit, seeing what I can make happen. And uh, anyway, this is a dream of mine that's been my whole life to have a broadcasting network that promotes the best of humanity and takes us to the higher level of civilization we need to be in order to enter into the galactic culture of the universe. Now is the time to make this project happen. Humanity is waking up and we just need to nudge it over the edge and to get people to experience compassion for each other and act like a civilized species. Civilized enough to enter into the galactic culture that's been watching humanity for thousands of years. So, using one of these vehicles, I can travel around unencumbered and uh, go to events, cover events, uh, and interview people, and uh, bring about a better world. It's basically what it's all about. All right, here we are. The beautiful Mystic Broadcast Motel 6 studio. And uh, here to explain a little bit about what I'm tending to do here with the Mystic Broadcast Network. Um, it occurred to me as I woke up this morning after thinking about this for a while, is that really what, at this point in time, 2017, what's needed is enough media attention and um, content to help push over the edge, create a critical mass, uh, that 100th monkey uh, phenomenon within humanity as to their potential. Uh, I've been in the human potential movement, uh, so-called, since I was a teenager. <laughs> and uh, since I go, as I grew up and went through various phases of my life, I uh, got further and further into it. It involved studies into metaphysics and, and music and uh, uh, consciousness. But as we are kind of winding up uh, lately, and this year especially, <clears throat> I see a definite gap between normal reality and the people that have already kind of crossed over in a way into a higher form of consciousness and living. And they describe it as moving into another dimension, uh, fifth dimension, sixth dimension, seventh dimension. Dimension. It all depends on your belief system on what you are talking about, but the idea is, is that you're basically living from the knowledge, the mindful knowledge, that you are creating what is happening to you in your life. Now, we've all been trained in schools and parents and generations of DNA information that the world creates us, that our, we are products of our environment. And with the advent of quantum physics and then recent uh, studies, indicate that it's just the opposite. The world is a product of what we believe it is. And one of the um, proofs for that <coughs> is that every time you go down that path in terms of realizing a person's real potential, then it's extremely fruitful. If you go down the other path that the environment creates the person, it's a dead end. That's because it's a lie. And uh, so part of what the Mystic Broadcast Network is going to be involved in is to get the message of the current uh, healers, shamans, mystics, um, people kind of down on the ground working with people to try to raise their consciousness and ultimately to raise their awareness about the infinite potentials that we have inside ourselves, all of us do. We all do. We're not the people that 
are in the in those higher consciousness states aren't any different than any of us that are not in them. <laughs> the only difference is that the person that did make it over to another dimension um, had enough information and related it to enough parts of themselves that they realized that the truth of what of who they were. So it's about it's about information. In um, in the 80s, Rupert Sheldrake uh, came up with the hundredth monkey um, theory, where you know he studied. Well, if you're familiar with this, but uh, he studied uh, two tribes of monkeys on two separate islands. And one tribe of monkeys started washing their potatoes that they dig up for food in the, in the ocean. And without any contact with the other island of monkeys, the, the monkeys in the other island started washing their potatoes in the ocean. It was as though they had uh, internet access or something and they just watched a YouTube video and, oh, you, that's what you do. You, you know, you wash off our potatoes in the ocean. No, it was something what uh, uh, Sheldrake called a morphogenic field. And a morphogenic field is a sort of um, net, a neural network that is subatomic and exists as a field of information around everything. And so when the one monkey put the information in or had the idea that, hey, I can watch this thing I don't have to eat this dirt, I can wash this dirt off in the water, then that good idea got thrown up into the subatomic neural net and it got picked up by the other monkeys of a similar species. So, and the same thing starts to happen with humanity. If you are an artist especially, you'll be going around and say, hey, wait a minute, I, I had that idea. <laughs> I had this happen to me all the time with music. Oh, that's the same melody I came up with, you know, or uh, the lyrics are similar. That's because there's no original ideas. It's all, it's all up in there, up in the neural network that's subatomic. So, uh, and, and all of this now is starting to be proven to be the case. So that now all scientists are going so far as to say that the universe itself is a conscious entity. And we are simply living inside that consciousness and sharing that consciousness with that entity. And so all the information uh, about our lives and all the uh, thoughts and creations that we create are theoretically available to anyone else on the net. Not the internet, the other net. <laughs> so I call it the extranet. So anyway, uh, the uh, Mystic Broadcast Network is there to sort of make bridge that gap between the internet and the neural net so that we can start to wake these uh, matrix slaves up from their sleep. Uh, we've all been sleeping uh, much to the uh, um, uh, glee of the owners and the operators of the of human world, or of, of humans on this world. I mean, there's a functioning elite. There's a there's a good old boy network. There's all kinds of examples of master slave um, paradigms throughout human history, and so it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up from that master slave. You are not a slave. You are a master of your life, and so um, any number there's thousands now of movers and shakers that are doing the work on the ground and what I want to do is add just that one more push with the Mystic Broadcast Network um, to get some of this, these messages out uh, and hopefully the people that are just on the verge of making that leap will hear that or see that and make the leap and now they're awake and now we have another active creator uh, helping to uh, shift this world into a higher, better version of itself. The other thing that separates the Mystic Broadcast Network from a lot of other types of programs and shows uh, about raising consciousness is that I want to take it into the next level. And to me, for me, and for hundreds of thousands of other people, maybe millions of people, 
is that for millennia, the human race has been being observed by our galactic and universal neighbors. There's a whole culture of um, interdimensional, spacefaring, uh, extraterrestrial civilizations that have interacted off and on with humanity um, for thousands of years. And this is all coming much more clear as more and more things are discovered and released and disclosed about our true history and what is truly going on right now with uh, extraterrestrial relationships. So um, what I believe, and I think this is shared with many people, is that we just, they're, we're not ready yet to come into um, a galactic culture, uh, let alone a universal culture. Um, there's just not enough consciousness there to make it possible, or to, to or even to make the technologies to connect with them possible. So, um, what I hope and intend with the Mystic Broadcast Network is to establish that more of a reality. In other words, we're, we're ascending and going into a higher state for a reason. And that reason is to be able to become a part of a galactic or inter, uh, intergalactic culture. Imagine what that would do for human culture. It would completely blow the lid off all the infinite possibilities. Um, so, and I'll leave that just to your imagination, but that's another major um, focus of the kinds of stuff we'll be doing, uh, and I want to have that be as a centralized platform, as it were, uh, as, I, as we interview and have discourse amongst all these healers and mystics and shamans, as to their take on what happens once we do step into this higher dimension or higher consciousness and what happens then. Um, and then um, we'll just take it from there and see, but I think it's, it's going to be really fascinating. So it's a little bit different than what um, some of the sensationalized uh, UFO people are, or some of the, the clickbait that you see a lot of times on Facebook and across YouTube, and sensationalism of the, of the extraterrestrial connection is, is shocking, actually, and, not, and very disingenuous as far as I'm concerned. But so we're going to treat it as though it's a normal thing rather than an amazing thing, because we're past amazing on this. Where it's time to realize that the human race just didn't um, slowly evolve from a protozoa in the ocean. Uh, it's been shown scientifically that the human race showed up on this planet 200,000 years ago and uh, with no previous connections to any um, previous form of life. So it's like we just go boop, popped in with our full consciousness abilities, neural abilities, uh, things that are not in other species, any other species. It's almost like we're sort of aliens to our own world. And um, so that, to me, points to a larger picture going on. So that, well, where did these original humans come from? Obviously not this planet. So it just, it's a matter of just making a couple of simple conclusions or simple leaps of logic, and you're there already. So, and this is something I believe since I was a teenager, and as I grew up I kept my eye on that whole subject, and, and it just expanded along with the idea of um, increasing human consciousness and awareness and mindfulness in the world. Um, so, by, uh, and a person only makes that choice when they have enough information and have related it to enough of their life experience so that they can choose, wait a minute, I can 
choose a better life for myself. Damn it. <laughs> so let's let's do it. And so um, I'll be one, you know, Mystic Broadcast Network will be one of hundreds of voices that are out there um, on uh, social media, on um, on the internet in general, but we also want to go into several different platforms and eventually be on, uh, you know, regular uh, VHF uh, TV and, and cable and we'll have our own broadcast channel uh, on all kinds of platforms and frequencies. So that's the idea. So by getting the, um, uh, the RV, uh, which will be the mobile broadcasting unit for uh, Mystic Broadcast Network, then I'll be able to create like a visible physical thing that's driving around the country uh, high profile wise uh, interviewing movers and shakers all over the country and probably going to Canada too. So um, the uh, uh, and we'll be doing live broadcasts and all the things that I want to do with the Mystic Broadcast Network are one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. There's so much phone stuff, Skype stuff, you know, uh, conference calls and all that. I, I'm always happy when someone actually goes, here's a microphone, I'm with you right here, we have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And uh, so, but we'll be uh, broadcasting those things uh, over uh, uh, internet radio on several stations. And then we'll have our own uh, YouTube channel, and then of course all the rest of the video networking we'll be doing too. But eventually, where I want to go with this is to have a fleet of Mystic Broadcast Network mobile units that are covering different areas or sections of the country. And uh, then to have a couple of uh, brick and mortar uh, studios uh, so that we can cater to people that are traveling and make it easier for them to contact uh, the network to immediately get on the network. And so the other thing that we're going to be doing is running revenue wise, uh, running a membership uh, uh, style uh, revenue similar to the Young Turks or even um, NPR. And uh, then we will be doing some advertising, but the advertisers that we choose will be tightly controlled into what, you know, to keep it on topic <laughs> and uh, keep it part of the conversation. And then any revenues that get generated from that, then we will share those revenues as a sort of dividend with our um, members. So kind of a different approach than that because we want the ads to be meaningful and uh, a resource for people to use that fit in, fits in to the overall mission of uh, the Mystic Broadcast Network. So that's basically it. Um, we're asking for $50,000 to get um, uh, a used RV. Uh, new ones are upward of $75,000, $80,000 for what we want. We're looking at probably about a at maximum 28-foot preferably 24-foot Class C RV uh, that's in good shape, low miles, and uh, I've seen them. I've looked at them for uh, around 50,000, 50, 50,000. Then the other thing, when he is, I need a new laptop and I need a new microphone for broadcasting. And uh, then, uh, you know, then we need operating expenses. But what I'd like to do is, uh, for the Indiegogo project, get the RV, and then uh, uh, from that, I'm going to go over to Patreon and have a thing where we can do a fundraiser for operating expenses. So we're really going to be depending on the on the on monthly subscribers and monthly uh, patrons uh, that want to pledge uh, a certain amount a month per month to help us meet expenses. Okay, so that's kind of more than I intended to say, but um, I'll have some more information in uh, later videos. Uh, if you have any questions at all, uh, you can uh, call me at the phone number listed on uh, Indiegogo page and emails, and uh, I'm 
basically on my computer most of the time. You can usually find me over at Starbucks or some Wi-Fi hotspot. And uh, so I'm always available and always open for any questions because this is my life's mission. This is why I'm here. I got sent down here to do this. I feel a little silly about the fact that, it, you know, I'm, I made it to 65 years old and it, it didn't happen before that. And I think the reason for that is because it wasn't time. It wasn't time to do it. And uh, plus, I had to go through some learning experiences, and I had to find out about you know my dark side, and and make those leaps myself into a higher dimensional form of living. And so I'm just I'm in the process. So this is part of the process. I hope to have your support on this, and I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a great, fun thing to do, and uh, it's going to be uh, very enlightening. <laughs> Almost literally, so, and I'm looking forward to having you on board, literally. All right, thanks a lot. The Mystic Broadcast Network exists to help develop and usher the Earth human culture into the advanced galactic society that has been watching humanity's development for millennia. The Mystic Broadcast Network features educational information and news about such topics as extraterrestrial disclosure, consciousness research, remote viewing, mind-body medicine, cultural spiritual development, and quantum technologies, all of which will need to advance considerably to be welcomed by our interstellar and intergalactic neighbors. The Mystic Broadcast Network exists to bring hope for a higher, more generative society, unencumbered by violent conflict, economic disparity, militaristic control and manipulation. Humanity is better than that. We all can tune in to the mystic broadcast of oneness emanating from every point in the universe and choose a better world.